honing is the preferred method for regular knife maintenance. We're going to go over what honing is and proper technique. Honing is indeed the preferred method, and it's designed to keep a sharp knife sharp. Hello, my name is Derek with Bustoff. And I'm Megan with Bustoff. So first we're going to review how a knife gets dull, and then how to keep it sharp. So, how does a knife get dull? From the cutting surface. From the cutting surface, not so much the food, right? Correct. So each knife is made up of, let me correct, each fine edge knife is made up of microscopic teeth. And throughout the course of the use of the knife, those teeth, they displace, they move, rounding the edge, making it dull. So let's show them how to use this properly. Sounds good, let's get into it. All right, so Megan, go ahead and grab that steel, but hang on, you're right-handed, right? Yes. All right, so with your left hand, go ahead and grab that steel. Now, what I'd like you to do is invert that so it's up and down and the tip is sticking down into this leather mat. Just like this? That looks really good. You got a nice grip on that? I do. All right, so yeah, let's put that down. Yeah? Mm -hmm. All right, nice and firm. So with your dominant hand, grab that chef's knife, please. Let's grab the knife back by the handle. Is that comfortable? Yep, perfect. All right, so what angle does our chef's knife have? 14 and a half degrees per side. Oh, I think we need to be a <laughs> robot to get a proper edge on that, right? I think so. Nah. All right, let's go perpendicular. So rest the edge of the knife against the steel perpendicular. You get what? 90 degrees. Close that gap in half. 45. All right, let's go again in half. 22 and a half. Maybe in about 20% or so. All right, that's a bit of a process, right? Yes. Can we do it easier? <laughs> I think so. I hope so. <laughs> All right, so maybe put the face of the blade flat against the steel. Now, do you see the thickness of the spine here? I do. All right, so imagine coming out double the thickness of the spine. Look about the same? I think so. All right, so now what you wanna do is you wanna run the knife down the length of the steel, and as you descend down the steel, the blade draws back towards you so that at the end, the tip and the tip meet. So okay. go ahead and do that. All right, here we go. Okay, that looked and sounded really well. Now let's go ahead and do that on the back side. All right, I'm lined up. Yeah. <laughs> nice, all right, so keep repeating that for about seven to 10 strokes per side. And as Megan's repeating it, the reason why we alternate sides is that it creates that balance back on center. If we were to use our favorite side over and over and over again, and then go to a hard side, which may be our backhand, it will turn the edge over onto itself called beveling. And then we don't have a keen edge. How's that feeling? Feels really good. Okay. So Megan, did you notice when you were running the knife down the steel that there was a bit of a waver as you went from top to bottom and then a difference perhaps from left or from forehand to backhand? Definitely. I do notice that um, from side to side, I'm not getting the, the same angle. Yeah. Well, you're not a robot, right? True. Okay. So this is the beauty to the Bustoff steel and the knife is that it's a symbiotic relationship. And it's not about the exactness of the technique, but the frequency. So ensuring that we use it as regularly as possible. Now. When do we do this? I do it every single time I use my knives. Okay. Do you do it before, after, middle use? I personally do it after I'm done using my knives, right before I put it back into my in-drawer um, knife tray. So you clean them? Yep. Hone them? All right, so I'm the opposite. I do it beforehand. It's kind of a ritual that I have. I pull my knives out based on what I'm cooking. I make sure my edge is where I want it to be, but it can also be done in the middle. Right? It can. Yep. If you're doing like a lot of prep work, think a holiday meal, having a lot of company over, you may want to stop and do it halfway through. And what that does is it just brings that bite back to your cutting edge and then you have a nice, beautiful, smooth, effortless, and more importantly, enjoyable cutting experience. Sounds good. All right.